Alright, so basically the first one to go ahead and do is um let's go ahead and remove the debug checker. So I'm gonna make this pause. I'm um, just as it should be. So this is going to be four, sorry. Alright, then this is going to disappear. Then once that is done already, what I want to go ahead and do is install this particular package. So I'm going to be using this particular package. So to install, I can just copy this here and I can go to my Visual Studio code. Okay, so once I'm there, I can do Ctrl Shift P. That's our dependency. I'm going to paste it and click enter. So basically, this is going to install the dependency, dependency for me. Sorry. And it's also going to run PubGet for me as you can see in this place. Alright, so once that is done, you can go to your home dot that now. Basically, uh, when we have this, we can go ahead and just have um bottom navigation bar the normal way we do it. So bottom navigation bar. So yeah, we are going to now specify fluid, which is the name of the package, fluid um nav bar. Okay, so it's not important. What I'm using today, I'm going to import the package manually. Right, so to do that, I'm going to go to the top and do import um, package. The my visual studio is kind of slow, so we say with bottom navigation. Right, we're going to import that. Then we can close this. And what we now need now is icons, so icons is going to be a list. Right, it's going to be a list icons, and we can now go ahead and have fluid nav nav bar icon and this nav bar icon here if i should over it you can give it a svg part icon um icon part or an icon itself so basically we're just going to give it an icon itself so icons icons dot home right um what is the error here let's see the error in this place I think cannot be also icon data. Okay, I believe I can just do icon dot oh. Alright, good. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste this here. And I can call this on person. So basically a profile kind of stuff. So we should save this. On our screen now, we should have um this so it is running. As you can see now, click on it. You can see the animation there. Basically, we cannot see the animation very actually. So let's get out give a background color. Let me over this and see if there's a background color here. So there's no background color here, I believe. Let me over this again. Okay, there's no background color. I'm just going to come in. Alright, so background color is here. So let's get our background color. Let's make this colors.red. Alright, so we have colors.red here. You can see, but that's not actually what we want. We want to give um, the use of a background color. All right, so there, I think there's something I missed actually. So we can go ahead and pass a style. The style is style now. We can go ahead and do fluid navbar style. All right, so we can now go ahead and call the background color. All right, so we can call background color. Let's just make it colors. Sorry, not provider. Colors dot red. We should save this now. You can see we have the red color here. Now you can see we have that sleek, beautiful animation. And now we can go ahead and just give it um, our icon color. So basically, we don't want to change the color for every icons. So I'm going to give this white. Alright, so save this. Now we should have white as you can see. We want that. And I'm going to do um icon selected foreground. So if you select it, I want it to be um let's just mix any color to it. Sorry. Colors dot purple and if it is unselected, let's just make it yellow. So basically, we're just mixing colors to see what we do. So you can see unselected is like that. So once you selected, the colors changes. All right. So basically, um, that's everything for this tutorial. And if you wouldn't even how you are going to change, you can go ahead and use unchange. So change actually just takes in everything you need to do when you're doing um when you're making. When you're doing exactly like button application stuff, all you have to do, the property you have to use is just the unchanged property. Alright, so if you like this tutorial, please make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time. Peace.